you simply get the patient numb. You do a little injection right around the top of the t- right around the top of the implant at the platform of the implant. Get the papilla in that area numb. You take a 15 blade, remove the healing abutment, and then make a crestal incision, slightly cheated towards the palate, and that's it. You don't have to elevate the tissue or anything. You're just going to you're going to separate the circumferential fibers with a crustal incision slightly to the palate. And then you're going to take, take your prosthesis and place it into the mouth. And as you screw it into position, because the prosthesis, if the implant was placed properly, will have an emergence profile that looks like this. It's going to look like a heart shape coming out with a nice S curve. It's going to push the tissue away. So it's going to act like a wedge, just like if you were chopping a, a, a block of wood. So when you put it in, as you tighten the screw, the screw will pull it into position. It will push the tissue out. The tissue will blanch a little bit, and it will move that tissue into the vestibule on the, on the buccal side. And so this is why we, when we published the paper on this a number of years ago, we called it the apical gingival displacement technique, the AGD technique. And what we're doing is we're apically displacing into the vestibule this band of keratinized gingiva so that we get a nice, beautiful three millimeter band or more on the facial of your implant. And that's it. The blanching goes away in a couple of minutes, and the patient isn't bleeding when they're leaving because when you place the implant, it puts compression on the tissue and there's no bleeding. And it's a lovely thing. So, and you don't have to give them a lot of anesthetic so they're not numb forever. And definitely don't have to give them a block. Just give them a little injection as an infiltration and they'll be fine. So this is called the AGD technique. The paper's on my website. So if you want to download it, it's free to read. And we use it all the time, 